It's a gorgeous fall day and it's time to get some garlic in the ground. Let me show you what we're gonna do. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is, why do you plant garlic in the fall? Well, here's the thing. Garlic is a bulb. So for me in zone five, the ground is going to freeze. And so I need to get it in the ground before it freezes. Fall is the perfect time. Ground is still warm. It can start to put down roots. You might even see little green shoots come up before snow and freezing comes and before the ground freezes. And that's totally fine. That plant is going to start to grow and get established. Then it goes dormant over the winter, but it benefits from the moisture of snow and rain and all of those things. And then in the spring, it wakes up and starts to do its thing. So if you're in a warmer climate, you really have until January to get your garlic in the ground. But for those of us who are gardening in a place where the ground is going to freeze, fall is the time to do it. And garlic loves being in the ground over the winter in that cold and um, with the extra moisture. So it's time to plant. So one of the other frequently asked questions that we get is what's the difference between soft neck and hard neck varieties? There are hundreds of different types of garlic cultivated in a variety of ways. Most of what you would get at the grocery store is soft neck and it's actually only a few different varieties. And growing your own garlic is super easy, but you wanna choose the right type. Hard neck varieties require cold stratification, which means period of cold dormancy. But if you live in a warmer climate, you can simulate that. Hard neck varieties also produce a scape, which means that they bloom. Soft neck variety is more suited to a warmer climate. It doesn't require cold stratification in the same way. Hard neck varieties take a little bit longer to mature. Soft neck varieties are the varieties that you can braid. Soft neck refers to the way the stalk on the garlic comes up. There are differences in how they store. There are differences in flavors. Growing hard neck and soft neck depends on your climate. Here in Colorado, I can actually grow both. And so I'm gonna be planting both hard and soft neck varieties. So I'm really excited to see how this works. We're going to plant the garlic out here in the new garden. I'm really excited about this. So it gets full sun and that's really important. Garlic needs full sun. It also gets a little bit of afternoon shade and because of the fact that this garden is located between two driveways, so there's a lot of reflected heat, that's going to be actually really okay for the garlic because it's a little bit of protection, but it still gets well more than six hours of sunlight, direct sunlight, and that's the definition of being full sun. So these beds are gonna be great for garlic. Earlier in the greenhouse, I prepared the heads of garlic to be planted. All you have to do is take off the papery outer layer on the head of garlic and then separate out the cloves. You want to sort through them. Anything that's really small, then you want to get rid of or anything that feels like it's really dried out, that's not going to create a good head of garlic either. So you're looking for a plump, healthy, good sized, kind of heavy, cloves, those are going to make your best heads of garlic. And remember, each of those cloves is going to become an entirely new head of garlic. Really exciting. So when you're planting garlic, those bigger heads like elephant garlic should be planted eight, even 10 inches apart from each other because they are going to create really big heads of garlic. But the smaller ones can be planted six to eight inches apart, um, sometimes even closer. And in the spring, you can interplant in between those garlic heads. Anything that's going to be shallow rooted, like spinach, for example. In Colorado, I have to water my garlic all winter long. I water it every two to three weeks, generally, unless we've had snow or rain, in which case then I let it go. But if we've had a dry two or three weeks, 
I definitely water it in. And in the fall, you may even see some sprouting to begin. That is completely fine. The sprouts will just, they'll be just fine over the winter. So don't worry about that at all. Remember that your garlic is going to start to grow as soon as you get it planted. That's how it goes to work and it will work a little bit in the fall and winter while the um, until the soil is too cold and too frozen. Then once the spring comes, it'll wake up and really go to town. So here's my secret tip to keeping squirrels and other creatures out of your bulbs. Once I get them all into the ground, and this works not just for garlic, but also for tulips and daffodils and anything else that you plant in the fall. Once you get them into the ground, put a really good layer and I'm talking four inches maybe, of fallen leaves on top. And then cover it with a layer of burlap. The burlap is biodegradable, it's reusable, you can use it year after year after year. I'll leave them until here in Colorado in Zone 5, I uncover them sometime in the middle of March. That depends on when your bulbs will start to come up. So it might be a little sooner, it might be a little later, but I'll uncover them in March. I'll just take the burlap off, but I leave the leaves because the leaves will just continue to break down over the spring and early summer. And once I've removed that burlap, those bulbs come up beautifully every year and by then the squirrels leave them alone. If you have any questions about growing garlic or planting it, put them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them and don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy gardening!